So physiology is a study of the human body and how it works. So we look at a range of uh, body systems from the cardiovascular system, so how do the heart and the blood vessels interact to deliver blood around the body, uh, through to the respiratory system, how do we take in the oxygen that we requ require for energy. Uh, and we look at all of these bodily systems and we're going to apply them to a sport and exercise context with a specific focus on football. In the performance physiology area, we use GPS. GPS is a tracker that helps monitor the physical load that players perform out on the pitch. Um, with that, what we can measure is high-speed running, um, metabolic loading, twisting, turning. Um, all of that information is fed back to a computer. From that computer, we can start to analyse training and look at our load that link into our periodisation. So we monitor that on a very close basis. By asking players and athletes from other sports too to take part in very controlled, precise training sessions, we can help them optimise their performance through very precisely controlling the physical loads that they endure. With the GPS trackers, we use those. The heart rate monitors, we monitor the heart rates with the GPS so we can monitor players um, if they've got particularly low resting heart rates or particularly high for example, whether they might be ill or in turn they actually might need a little bit more conditioning for a certain position. We also look at weight and weight pre and post training as I've just said, but we also look at weight during the course of the week for nutrition um, to measure the amount of carbohydrates and proteins and fats that people eat during the course of the week. So we again can make sure we can maximise performance for a Saturday. One area that we're looking to advance is how do we personalise recovery strategies? And how we do that is we try and analyse how the human body is responding to the exercise session. And we can do that from a whole variety of variables, including hormone concentrations, um, cardiovascular physiology, how does the heart, heart respond to an exercise task. But it's about being specific to that one athlete because everybody is different.